afternoon everyone if it's still afternoon for you or even if you're in the if you're even watching this in the afternoon anyway this is a video on my Arduino fire alarm system that I've been working on for a little while I'm going to start this project uh, sometime last year and I started playing with it again recently now as you can see it's got LCD display um, that's your relay board. I'm actually only using one relay on this, um, so you could just, you know, use your own relay. I'm using this relay board because it has a nice opto uh, coupler on it. Um, but uh, uh, but uh, that's for the sounders uh, to sound the sounders. You've got an Arduino Uno R3. Uh, you got three buttons. You've got your call point, and it's got some other features in there. Um, now, you may want to notice this. Hopefully, I can uh, demonstrate it for you. I'm going to have to get a torch nearby. I want to show you the first feature of this panel. Um, that may not be obvious. So, you can see system's normal. Now, there's actually a LDR, light-dependent resistor there, if the camera wants to focus on it. No, there we go. There she is, and focus back. And as the light in the room changes, as it gets dark, the panel gets darker. As it gets brighter, the panel gets brighter. Now you should be able to see it vary itself. That panel is actually getting brighter. Now I really like this feature because if you happen to have uh, this panel in your bedroom or uh, maybe in your office or something like that for example not necessarily in a commercial building two seconds um, you don't want it to be glowing full brightness and lighting up the room if you've got your lights dimmed down or the lights turned off see I find since my fire alarm panel is actually in my bedroom um, the LEDs do glow a little bit, it doesn't annoy me at all, but if I were to have this, this would light the room up pretty well on full brightness. So that's why there's a automatic backlight on this, it does vary quite nicely actually. It goes right the way down to lowest brightness it can do, but it still stays you know, illuminated so you know it's on. Right, anyway, that's enough of that. Um, as you can see it says system normal. Two seconds. There we go, sorry about that. I wasn't quite prepared for that. As you can see, it says system normal there. Now I will put the, your key in your custom call point I've made here. I've actually used a piece of old glass and created my own uh, um, overlay, or whatever, over you know labels on it because the old label was worn off. But if I break, if I push your, the call point, as you can see, it says fire call point and the sounder relay has turned on, so if I had a sounder hooked up to that the sounder would now be sounding so far a call point if I reset the call point it still keeps on going notice how it doesn't blink the sounders will still be going and what not uh, but the only difference is you can tell that the call point has been reset or not by it blinking um, but obviously you would silence it if there's a fire you would silence it Get reset your call point. This is if it's a false alarm or whatever. You test the system, then you reset your system, and it goes back to normal. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but if I create a fire, the brightness of that display actually goes up. You can see this. If I move the, um, if I cover that uh, little LDR there, get a piece of blue tack or something. Two seconds. We can see that change a lot more obviously. Well, let's cover that enough. Now, if I reset it, oh, sorry, so it goes down very bright, uh, very low brightness. Set the alarm off. It brightens up the display to max brightness, and it will stay at that brightness even if it's silenced and that's reset. If there's an event, it will stay max brightness to tell you that you need to see your file on panel. Reset, it will go back into auto brightness mode. 
you can see. That's going to have a cool feature, so if I sound alarms, brightness will go up, silence it, reset it. Right, another feature is you've got contrast control for the LCD, you've got your call point. Now you can also, if I quickly demonstrate it to you, this is on a test bench at the moment, that's why it's on a piece of breadboard. Anyway, that call point has a resistor in it, but if I were to short out the actual short this out as if you wired it up wrong I'm just jumping it over here it will tell you there is a fault with the system fault in the call point loop and that light's actually blinking because that's the buzzer pin pin 13 is a buzzer pin I couldn't find a buzzer to show you but it does. It, you can have an internal buzzer which obviously in the finished product which I will get around to probably building this into a proper mini system yeah, I will have an internal buzzer on it that will also make the brightness of the display goes ma maximum because that's an event. Um, if you remove this, um, your buzzer will stop sounding, and then you can clear that by resetting the system. And since this is not shorting out anymore, it's fine. But when you set that into alarm, there's actually a I think it's a 470 ohm resistor in there, and it can detect whether that's you know, whether it's a call point or whether it's just a dead short. Right, so other buttons, so you've got your silence, you've got your reset, and you've got your sound alarms. So those are the three buttons there. Sorry if you can hear some background noise. You've got your sounder output, call point, uh, what else was there? Okay, there's also another feature. Um, if I, ah, where is it? If I grab one of those, grab a 5 volt, and if you put that on there, so at the moment it isn't hooked up, but you have an option to actually add um, what's called an alert. Um, so if you want to add a, another call point that's white or another colour, not red, because this isn't a fire alarm feature, this is an add on. So, besides the normal continuous sounding when you sound your fire alarm, that will continue sounding your sounders, but if you have a second call point, different colour, maybe one of them, for a separate event, and you set it off, I have an alert feature. Alert feature seems to be quite common with CTEC panels. That will make your brightness of your display go maximum brightness, and it will actually pulse your sounders. So that will be a se separate distinct tone, or distinct noise, compared to the fire alarm noise. And this can be controlled just by a normal switch. Um, it's not checking for a certain resistance, so you can just put a normal switch on that, or whatever. Uh, normally, open circuit switch or call point. And when you actually let go of that, or reset it, or just flick the switch back, it will stop. But you will have to just clear the display. So that's just another feature. So that's an optional feature. It's quite a cool feature to have. If you've got this as a system, you can tie that into maybe a gas leak detector or something the alert function. But those are the main functions of my Arduino based fire alarm system. Um, you can easily add backup power to this. If you really wanted to you could actually add backup power pretty easy by just putting in a 9 volt battery on that. Um, but there's a few problems with doing it that way. Uh, but I just want to show you my Arduino fire alarm system. Hope you did enjoy it. In fact I'll just quickly show you one more feature. I forget about all the other features actually. Um, if I hold down this button and that button, it's actually got a test mode. See, I've got quite a few features on this panel I didn't realise I had actually, I forgot about. <laughs> Reset. Well, I did, I did know I had these features, uh, obviously, because I programmed the whole, all this code is done by me. But um, I forgot to, when I was doing this uh, video. But there you go, those are all the features now, now that I remember them all, and the camera isn't focusing, there we go, the camera's focused. But I hope you enjoyed my little video of my Arduino based fire alarm system. When I get this done, I'm working with um, some smoke detectors, such as maybe Apollo Series 65 detectors. It will then be a mini system that I will have running. I've had this running for a um, uh, couple weeks now, solid. I've had no uh, issues with any false alarms. I hope you enjoyed my video on my Arduino fire alarm system, um, like I said, and uh, hopefully catch you in the next update. Thanks for watching.
this is thingy one 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 eight going uh, clear. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I did uh, write all the code my own. Cheers.